Here's part two of my favorite body weight shoulder exercises. And a few things I want to point out, since most of these exercises are going to be in a push-up position, is that we have to make sure that we're properly stacking the shoulders to make sure that you stay in a safe, strong position. So what does that look like? We're going to stack your wrist, elbow, and shoulder in one straight line. And what I point out to a lot of my clients is you want to make sure that the heel of the palm is directly below the elbow, which is directly below the shoulder. I see a lot of this in people look like Superman or Superwoman, and you can see how you can put a lot of pressure on the shoulder. So use your bones as a supporting structure, not so much your muscles or your ligaments and, and tendons. So once I'm in that strong stacked position, I want to think about really screwing my hands into the floor. So from this point of view, my right hand is going to screw in that way or clockwise. My left hand is going to screw in counterclockwise. Another cue that I often give is rip the floor in half or break the bar in half. And the reason why we emphasize this is because we want to make sure that you are setting your joints. They're locked and in a really strong position. That way when you are pushing or doing pull, pull exercises or when you're completing knee shoulder exercises, you're not abusing your joints. You're really just pushing the muscles. So the first exercise I'm going to do is what I call a stable stability tap. And this is going to really force the stability of your shoulders. So we're going to get into a full push-up position. And again, you can always do this in a kneeling position. Once you have everything stacked, you're going to get your feet a little bit wider to make sure you lock your hips. And from this position, you're going to tap the opposite shoulder. Every time I do this, I'm literally ripping the floor in half with whatever hand is planted on the floor. I want to make sure that I have good stability through my joints so that, again, I'm not beating them up. The next exercise that I really enjoy for our shoulders is back in that push-up position. We're going to rip everything in half and we're just going to sway side to side, putting more weight and pressure on either side. So when my weight's on my right side, I'm going to really dine with my right hand and I'm going to shift back over and go on the left side. And then the last exercise that I really enjoy for the shoulders in the push-up position is getting back in that push-up position and just shifting my weight back and shifting my weight forward. Shifting my weight back and shifting my, my weight forward. That way I'm really forced to play with all these different dynamic positions to make sure that I ensure strong, stable shoulders. 